Hello there guys. I think it's time for something a little bit more difficult. So uh, in an endgame like this with a queen each and an extra knight, it's uh, not uh, really so easy to win. Normally it's just a draw. But uh, in this position there is a forced variation for white that either checkmates the king or wins the queen. It's not easy to find and it's not uh, short. It's, uh, there are some moves that you have to perform in the right order. But, well, you can analyze this on your own now. Pause the video and see if you can find the full variation that leads to a victory for white. Go ahead. All right, here we go. Well, we have to take advantage of the fact that the king is a bit exposed here. Uh, it's uh, we have some checkmate possibilities, and I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna show you the right starting move straight out like this. It's queen e7. We have to, of course, attack the king, and we are now threatening a checkmate here on the g7. If the king goes to anywhere of these three squares, so he is forced to g6. So that wasn't that hard to find in the first move. The question is, how do we continue from here? I think now it's the time for you to post the video yet again and see if you can find the winning variation starting from this position. Go ahead. Okay, <clears throat> here we go. So in this position, I would say there are at least four interesting moves. One of them leads to a victory. The other one leads to draw. So let me go through them all. First, the not winning moves. Uh, queen g4 check, uh, sorry, g5 check is just not good enough. King escapes to f7, threatens this knight, and also threatens to run away. And a check like this just pushes the king to e8, still attacking the knight, and he is also ready to escape. Nothing more to come from this. And this check here is not good enough either actually king comes to f5 again attacking the knight and uh, also threatening to escape something like this uh, we can try something like this to uh, really block the king in like this but it's really not a good idea because then we are getting checkmated in one move by queen h2 not so nice of course so actually there are many variations to look at here, but black will escape in the end, something like this, and we will settle for a draw. Okay, the other move, which I thought was the correct one, but it isn't. It's king g4. It looks very, very good. It threatens uh, checkmate here. Uh, the queen is blocked. Uh, he cannot check anywhere because uh, we are protecting the b4 square. But black has actually one move that saves everything, and that is queen g8. Very beautiful move. And if we are checking something like this, it will just move the king, and the queen is pinned. So it's forcing a, a an exchange here, which of course is a draw. <clears throat> and after queen g8, there's really nothing white can do to win this. You can explore this on your own and you will not find a winning variation for white. So instead, after queen, after king g6, the winning move for white is actually knight f8 check. So it looks like we are moving away our knight, but it's uh, really in very good position there. So of course, black cannot take it. We will simply take back and then we win easy with the queen up. And if the king goes to uh, h6, well, then we can checkmate on either one of these three squares. So again, it's a forced move, king f5. And what did we achieve with this? Well, if you want a quick uh, pause again, you can do it. But otherwise, here comes the variation and the continuance. We are now checking on h7. Now, again, it looks like we are really letting the king escape. But look at this. Of course, you cannot go to e5 due to the uh, fork here. And uh, same will happen if you go to f6. Same fork. 
So the king is forced. Only remaining move is king f4. And again, it looks like maybe we are letting him slip away. But now comes the final moves of this study. Here, white has a fantastic moves that really leads to a checkmate or a queen uh, victory very, very soon. Again, if you want to pause and try to find this fantastic move, go ahead. All right, here we go. The correct move here is queen to d3. We are not checking. We are not chasing him away. Instead, we are blocking everything here. You see, if the king moves uh, to e5, well, then it's a check here with a fork and the queen is lost. But what we're also doing by playing queen d3 is we're actually threatening checkmate here with the knight to g6. That is a checkmate. And as we saw, the king cannot escape. The only thing you can try now is to cover this. But of course, if we place queen b6 or e8 to cover, we can still just check. And he is forced to sacrifice the queen. And everybody wins this uh, easy. So finally, what can he do? Well, <clears throat> only thing he can do is left is just to take our knight. But that's not a very good move either. Of course, we have the queen f1 check. We will win the queen and then easy win from there. So I would really say that is the move of this study from here. Just playing queen d3 and all black can do really is just resign after that. Really enjoyed this study and it's of course one of the greatest guys, Alexei Troitsky. He's doing a lot of these fantastic studies over the years. Very, very brilliant. So thank you for watching this. Have a great day. Bye bye.